Hey, hey. Hello. We're here at uh, the Flying Horse Resort. And we got a question for you. Just want to ask you, how much abundance do you ultimately want to experience? Not a year from now or not five or ten years from now or maybe someday when you get around to it. But how much do you truly want to experience in your life? That begins right now. And the reality is, is, is most of us, including us, we're guilty of that. Most of us are chasing money and great ideas. And, and that's a natural thing that happens as, as kids growing up, being teenagers and, and stepping into life and trying to figure out how you're going to live and how you're going to pay for the things that you want to do and the things you want to experience. It's a natural tendency to chase money, to go figure out what can I do? What can I do to make money? And the reality is there's, there's only two ways to be, able to, to be able to experience stuff like this. We're experiencing it by choice because we can. And, and we want to. And we want to. And so, I mean, look at that beauty. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Just awesome. Yeah, we're partially at a golf course, but we're not here to golf. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really golf. <laughs> we're at a resort. This just happens to be the most beautiful part of where a sun would set. And you can see that in your backyard or whatever, but, but everybody loves to come to places like this. They love to try to have a vacation, try to go different places that they can experience things like this and, and, and get some invigoration, I, I guess I want to say. Experience, uh, you know, how awesome it is. And then we, then we come home and we tell our friends and family and like, it was so awesome. And we, we show these pictures and, and tell about all that we did and create the memories and all that. But we come back to, there's only two ways to really experience this. And one, one is chasing money and great ideas. And that can be okay and it can help you to experience some of it, but you'll never experience the ultimate fulfillment that you're trying to experience where you have the freedom to do what you want, go wherever you want and experience whatever you want. Right now we've got the freedom to do that. So we want to share it with you. It's a little bit windy here, so I hope you can hear us. Uh, and the, the, the second way is to release your infinite richness. Learn how to release your infinite richness. And that richness is, is really um, what you dream about that you can do, what you can dream about that you can do with what was put inside you. Your dreams are about a beach house or about freedom or they're about uh having having a you know a better house you know having a lifestyle having vacation Hi, matt. hey matt having a, the ability to go on different vacations and stuff and so we get we get constrained by having to chase money we don't call it that but chase money and they're just great ideas they're other people's great ideas that we're pouring our creative inspirational energy into to try to bring value into our lives so we can then go use that value to create an experience, whether it's at our house, in our backyard, whether it's a trip we go on, whether it's investing in something. But there, but I come back to there's only two ways and we choose the second way. First way is chasing money and great ideas. And, and the second way is, is to release the richness that was placed in you, learn how to articulate that, put messaging on it, put put it to such a degree that it became becomes so attractive to you that you can't escape the dream that comes out of that. The excitement and, and invigoration that comes from articulating what was placed in you. It's what fits you, it, what it's, it, it's what your element is, it's what your calling is, it's what your ultimate purpose is. Just and it's gets not, you excited. Yeah, and it's not something you have to go do. It's not an assignment by God. It's what was placed in you to optimize your life so that you can go transact that value. He placed it in you so that you can go exchange that. And when you go fulfill that part of you, you find your ultimate fulfillment. And so we just want to share that with you that the, the, really the reality is, is that's how we're living our lives. We're living our lives in that, in that, posture that most people don't take sweet spot of releasing their richness beginning to articulate that and beginning to use it to exchange 
the value that was placed in you that's equal to every other person in the world. It just doesn't look like it because they have greater things than you do. And they, and, and we all take that value that we get from work, that we get from a job we do, that a project we're on, and we, we exchange, our, exchange our time for that and then we get value back in and then we co-create in our lives. We create the things around our houses, everything in your house you've created by attracting it, not mystically, but you've created it by making the money, envisioning that I want that set of deck furniture and I'm gonna go buy it. So you draw all that into your life just by desiring to have it, by seeing it's possible and, and seeing how you could potentially go get it. And your money that you bring in has this tendency to create an identity of the level of richness that you have. But the real richness that was placed in you is infinite. We're just never taught how to release that or go give it. Another word for release is give that richness. Go serve that richness. It's what fits you. It's what your personality is. It's what it is your calling. It's your purpose. It's it's what invigorates you. It's what it energizes you. It what, uh, it's what makes, makes you come alive. It causes a skip in your step. And it's so exciting that when you go toward it, you have a hard time stopping doing, doing that work, working that field. And so we just wanted to come on here today and, and as we've done many times in the past and, and share with you guys, share what we're doing, share the abundance you can be experienced. It's really the keys to it is really in the palm of your hands. It's really built inside you. And so um, we just wanted to share it with you. We, uh, are enjoying what we're doing and, and wanted to share this experience. Um, and the beauty behind us. Yep, the beauty, the grandeur, the wonderfulness, the, the loveliness, the awesomeness of all of life. And and cause that invigoration in you, cause that aliveness. This is on this side of life. This is the best part of life, is, is just being alive and, and experiencing life itself. Life more abundantly by the way, than itself. And oftentimes we get, we get <clears throat> constrained out of that. We get, we get into this place where we're just living mundane life and we're not actually coming alive in who we are. Uh, and, and we end up being a product of the circumstances. We end up being a product of what we're doing and where we're going. And instead of being in control and having life on our terms, uh, living the ultimate life that we all dreamed about as a kid, as a teenager, as a 22, 28, 30 year old, but over time we get into this workhorse uh, rut, kinda. rut and flow and we get comfortable with producing that and we think that that's the real, uh, that's who we are and that's the, the abundance that, you know, that was given to us. So, so Here there we, go. we go. We had some <laughs> things come up on the screen, so. Whoops. <laughs> Hallelujah. So anyway, uh, enjoy life. Enjoy your life. Enjoy today. Enjoy every moment of today. Yep. As the sun sets, we will enjoy our day closing it up. Yes. On Look this how, beautiful evening. Look how beautiful that is. This is Colorado Springs. Maybe.